Bible verse for our devotion today is from Matthew chapter 28. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. The women were the ladies who came to the tomb early on Easter Sunday morning. And they came because they were going to prepare Jesus' body for burial. When they looked inside the tomb where the stole had been rolled away, they saw the angels. And the angels told them, don't be afraid. He's risen, just as he said. Go and tell his disciples. That's where this verse picks up. The ladies saw the tomb was empty. They were on their way to tell the disciples, and they were afraid, yet filled with joy. That's a couple of emotions that we experience throughout our Christian life. Fear and joy. Fear is the knowledge that we're sinners. Knowledge that we can't stand before God on our own. And joy that comes from the Easter gospel. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. A lot of Christian life is the balance between those two emotions. So which one wins? Well, maybe it depends. Maybe it depends on the situation. Fear is not necessarily paralyzing fear. It could be doubt, uncertainty, maybe some questions about why God allows what he allows. So the Christian always goes through life because we're continuing to struggle with our sin. We experience that type of fear. And there's joy. Joy because we know Jesus is alive. Joy because we know the grave is empty. We know we have forgiveness and eternal life. And like those ladies, we can leave that tomb on Easter Sunday afraid, filled with joy. Right after they left, Jesus met them. And they saw him with their own eyes. And Jesus revealed himself to be alive and told them to go and tell the disciples. And the Easter gospel won the day. Those women in the future are probably afraid again. They struggled with sin just like we do. One day after Easter, we may be struggling already. But Easter wins. Jesus is alive. Our sins have been forgiven, and we know our Savior is with us. And so when we're a little bit afraid, a little bit uncertain, wrestling with doubt, may God grant that that Easter gospel of our risen Savior speak to our hearts through his word and strengthen us as we walk through this life in service to our Savior. Let us pray. Dear Lord, these women were some of the first people at your grave on Easter Sunday. They found your tomb empty and heard from the angel that you were alive. Their emotions were understandable. They just saw a holy angel, and that sight brings fear. But your body was not there, just as you promised. What joy. Fear in the presence of a holy God and joy from a living Savior are what we still experience today. Last Friday was a strong preaching of your holiness and what our sin earns. Easter Sunday is a clear and unconditional preaching of the gospel. As we walk away from your grave after Easter, calm our fears with the message of your resurrection. Let joy dominate in our heart and in our life as we run to tell others the good news of you. Amen. God's blessings on your day.